So in this video, we're going to label these integers on a number line. And uh, please either have a number line printed off or draw that. Uh, draw a number line because I really want you to actually not just watch the video but actually do this and label these points yourself because there's something about actually uh, using writing and, and uh, touching things that really helps to learn. It's a kinetic way of learning. So um, if you haven't got a number line yet please press pause on the video and draw your number line and then we'll get started. Okay let's get started. So I'm going to start with these two points. Uh, 5 and negative 5. Let's label those on the number line. Okay, So this is a positive 5 and uh, as you know positive numbers don't need a sign in front of them. When we see 5 we already know it's positive 5. You can stick a sign there if you want but uh, you, the, 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 usually we don't bother just because it's simpler not to, to bother with the plus. But in any case as you can see a number line has uh, positive numbers and then zero in the middle and then negative numbers to the left. So positive five, of course, would be right here, wouldn't it? Just right on the five. So put a dot right above the five, okay? So where's negative five? So negative five's got to be right above the negative five all the way over here, okay? Okay, and these are actually opposites. So the five is an opposite to negative five, right? And when you add them together, you actually get zero, by the way. Anyway, please label eight and negative eight on the number line. Label these two numbers on the number line. So eight or positive eight and negative eight. Where are they? So eight is right above the eight right here. Positive eight. Negative eight all the way over here. Negative eight, right? And again, these are opposites. If you add them together, you get zero. 8 is an opposite of negative 8, negative 8 is an opposite of 8. Anyway, okay, what about 2.5? Where is that on the number line? 2.5 is the same thing as 2.5, isn't it? 2.5. Same thing as 2.5. So here's 2, here's 3. Now 2.5 or 2.5 would be exactly halfway in between, halfway in between. Two and two and three. So there it is, 2.5. I guess I'll put it out there though. So it's exactly halfway in between two and three. Does that make sense? What do you think about negative 2.5? Where would that be? By the way, that is negative two and a half. Negative two and one half. Negative 2.5. Okay. So it's like being in debt by two dollars and fifty cents. You're in debt by two dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so you're in debt by two dollars, but you're also in debt by two or by fifty cents as well, right? So where is that? It's actually halfway between negative two and negative three. So negative three is here, negative two is here. See that? Now negative two point five is actually halfway in between these two numbers. So it's actually right there. Okay, so that's negative two point five. Okay. Now where is Ten thirds on the number line. Now, ten thirds. Why don't we write that as a mixed number? Write as a mixed number. So, three into ten goes how many times? Three into ten goes three times. What's your remainder? Three into ten goes three times. Three times three is nine. Remainder one, isn't it? So, three and one third. So, where's three and one third on the number line? So it's got to be in between 3 and 4, isn't it? So it's got to be in between 3 and 4, somewhere here. And just estimate it. You don't have to be perfect. But it's not like, it's not halfway. It's just a little less than halfway about there, isn't it? Okay, so that's 3 and 1 third or 10 thirds. Same thing, right? How about negative 7 thirds? Where is that on the number line? By the way, wouldn't it be cool to write that as a mixed number first, right? So negative seven thirds, what's that as a mixed number? So you go three into seven. Three into seven goes how many times? Three into seven goes, well, two threes is six. So three into seven goes two times, remainder what? 
remainder 1 again 2 and 1 third but hold on a second it's a negative number so negative 2 and 1 third negative 2 and 1 third right? where is that on the number line sorry it's going to be very close to 2.5 isn't it negative 2 and 1 third is just here just uh, a little bit past the negative 2 sorry for the mess negative two and one third okay and just for fun let's just do one more real quick so how about um, how about let's see um, uh, 25 negative 25 quarters where is that on the number line First, write it as a mixed number. 4 into 25 goes how many times? 4 into 25 goes 6 times. See, 4 6 is 24, right? 6 times, what's the remainder? Remainder 1. So 6 and 1 quarter. But it's a negative number. Negative 6 and 1 quarter. Label that on the number line. So, by the way, a quarter is the same thing as 25 cents, isn't it? So that's actually negative 6.25. It's like negative $6.25. So it's like a debt of $6.25, which is less than just a debt of $6. You see, negative 6 is right here. That's your negative 6. So, you know... Which is which is more negative? Negative six dollars or negative six dollars twenty-five cents, right? See, this is more negative than this. See, this is a bigger, slightly bit more of a debt than this. So that's why negative six and a quarter, or negative six point two five, is going to be just a little bit to the left, a little bit to the left more than negative six. Okay. So it's it's in fact just a little bit, a little bit left of negative six. It's right there. Does that make sense? And so that is our negative six and one quarter.